Hello, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, depending on when you're watching this. Uh, welcome to another broadcast of uh, Evil Scotsman, Deathmaster, depending on uh, how you know me. Um, and once again, I am going to be giving you another little tutorial on uh, Roll20. So, as you can see, I have the test game up again. I'll just launch into this game. I'm actually going to do this from the DM side because it's actually a little bit easier. Um, I was making a recording earlier and then my phone went off right in the middle of recording. So I was just kind of like, ah, uh, yeah. Um, so that's why you're going to see some of these things up here. As you can see, though, I've got two characters on here. Um, we have Smokey Joe. Uh, who I made yesterday. Um, I actually changed him back to being a mountain dwarf because um, I gave him the mountain dwarf uh, token and uh, one of my favourite names, Inky McManus who was actually named by my girl Kat. Uh, she came up with that name and I think it's an absolutely amazing name but I'm going to actually... Oh, I'm doing that wrong. And I'm still doing it wrong. Uh, wow. Oh, that's right, I've not uh, linked the token to him yet, that's why. Um, so yes, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways of actually leveling up a character. Um, Smokey Joe is my life domain uh, mountain dwarf, and I actually made Inky McManus a wood elf ranger. Um, the easiest way that I'm going to do this now, because I thought about doing it earlier, the way I did it earlier was uh, doing it all the way to level 20, uh, but I feel that this way is much easier. So, if you get experience and whatnot, you're doing milestones, um, well, it's normally experience. They say, oh, you're starting at, say, level 5, I think it's 6,500 XP. There are a couple of different ways uh, we'll do it. I'll do Inky McManus later, because I'm also going to show you... Um, how the difference was, if you recall from yesterday, how I chose the life domain right away, because uh, that's what happens with clerics. So, to start things off, um, oh, puppies are going crazy. Okay, pal, stage, no, it's okay. People are allowed to walk by. Yeah, I've got a couple of dogs, so, you know, they're gonna probably make appearances throughout the videos. <laughs> with their barking as uh, dogs generally tend to do. Anyway, so um, 6500 XP I think is level 5. So the first easiest way to do it, um, if someone says, oh you need to make a level 5 after you made your level 1, just type in on your experience uh, there, type 6500 in. And you'll see the hammer and tongue there. Oh, not hammer and tongue, hammer and anvil. If you just click on that, it will take you straight to the character answer, which is wonderful. So you would click on levels, and then you can see it automatically adds your five hit points from the average. Uh, you can roll, as you can see, eight, um, or you can take the average, which is five. It also tells you your different things there. You also notice here that it says level 1 plus 1 to make you level 2. Well, with this guy, I'm actually going to go all the way up to level 5, which is where you should be. This is one of the things I don't like. I can actually take up higher, even though my XP does not is not meant to be there. It is level 5. Uh, you also notice that it might be a little bit off there. Because you'll see 8, 5, and 5 is 18. Well, it always leaves the last one blank. Well, the way that you get around that is, as soon as you go do a jump in levels, um, you have to decide are you going to take the average or are you going to roll. So to make sure that you've got the right number in, you just click average and you'll see it pop up in the screen on the chat there. Or you can click roll and it will actually roll for you. I'm actually going to change this because of that first roll being an 8. So I'm going to change that to 8. Because why not? Um, 
but you, you'll see that that might not change there if you go to features and then go back you'll notice that it does change to 26 the same would be so it's what eight seven six and five if you clicked average it does automatically change to 20 and puts all of them in there i'm actually gonna change that it was eight seven six and five uh, the, the hit points will actually change from 43 as I go to features. You know, uh, you get your channel divinity, turn on dead, how does divine power, blah, blah, blah. Uh, plus the subclass features, it will put them in there. So on the features, I've got my life domain cleric, my channel divinity, the turn on dead, how does divine power, preserve life, and so on. And I also get my ability score increase or feat at level four. Now, um, as I did do it on the other video, um, when you do large level jumps, um, I'll actually show you it here. So say I was to go have more than there and say uh, we were going up to level 10. Once again, you see, oh, Look, that last one isn't in there. So let's just roll for that one also. Which is not letting me do it. Um, if I was to click average on all of them, you see it actually fills it in. If I was to roll on all of them, it would roll for all of them and it actually shows up in there. Uh, so it was actually eight, seven, I'm actually going to drop that one down to five because I'm going to be fair with it, with uh, where it was meant to be, and the rest of them in there. Um, and it tells you a little bit more on here. But so going to the ability score increase, you'll notice now that I've got my level four and level eight. Well, if I was to choose, say, the resilient feat here. And put it in wisdom at level eight it also actually allows me to take resilient again now unfortunately you're not able to do that reason being is that you can only take feats one time unless otherwise stated and this feat does not state that you can take it more than one time uh, the only one that i know of that does is the elemental adept which actually states, um, do, 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 do. oh no, that's Eldritch Adept, sorry, uh, Elemental Adept, there we go. Um, the ability to cast one level spell, um, you choose all of this, it does actually state right here, you can select this feat multiple times, each time you do so, you must choose a different damage type. The only other one that I know, see this is also one of the other problems that's giving me the Eldritch Invocation which uh, came up from the previous one and I'd have to click away, no, you'd have to just ignore that. The only other one that I kind of think that they allow you, depending on the um, Dungeon Master you'd actually have to talk to him about that, is the... Um, Magic Initiate feat. Because it's saying about uh, choosing a spell casting ability, or you can um, say, choose a class uh, from all the spell casters and you learn two cantrips and one first level spell of your choice. Well, technically, you could actually choose a different class each time. Whether or not you would want to is another, uh, is another thing. But. Some DMs may allow the Magic Initiate feat uh, to be used because you are using a different one. The same with the Resilient feat, you would actually have to talk to the DM. Um, in all honesty, I wouldn't allow it because it basically would then allow you, allow any one player to have, if they chose such a way, if they actually rolled really well, to get um, proficiency in every single saving throw. 
So I'm not actually a big fan of that whatsoever. Um, but the magic initiate, I can kind of see how that could be used. Um, now, if you were to go a different way and do a level jumps to each ability score increase, if I took magic initiate or resilient at the first one, then it would be blocked off and not able to be used at the second one. I'm actually just going to cancel all this and then go back in to make things nice and clean again. And once again, see if you go up to, say, level 5. Again, it shows you 15. Doing only 3, you click the average, and then we'll put the fourth one in there. Um, but it was 8, 7, 6, and 5. Yeah, I'm, I'm being mean here, and it should be actually 8, 4, 7, and 6, but I'm just doing it the other way, taking out that first roll, because it actually rolled the first die, and the first roll was actually the 8. And once again, you can see there are your things in there. So, uh, the ability score increase would probably be best at this time. Uh, I personally would prefer having my wisdom at 18 or 19 so that on the next level up or the next time uh, we, you get one you can put it at 20 some people don't enjoy having uh, the odd numbers so they might go okay well do I want 12 charisma or 14 intelligence either one is really a dump stat really the um, clerics don't use either as such um I would probably just put both points in Wisdom just to, to try and get it there because some feats, you can put a point in something and if you get one point in there, that would then take the Wisdom to 20. Uh, spells. Being level 5, you get up to third level spells. And, of course, well, here we go. Um, by the time you hit level 5, you also get an extra cantrip, so you would choose an extra cantrip. See resistance. Um, see, this is one of the weirder things about it. Uh, I'm trying to remember which ones we we took. Uh, oh yes, I remember now. See, what now happens? Do we have more than forty-eight points? I thought so. Eight, fifteen. 20 or 20, okay. So yes, it was actually 49 hit points. Um, it's saying uh, you can add 9 new spells. Um, one of the problems that it does do, uh, when you do a, a large level jump, um, it's going to keep in Bless and Ceremony, or not Ceremony, it was Bless and Cure Wounds, as... Um, spells that you know it had six here even though they are actually your domain spells if you go uh, level for level it actually also puts them in there the first time you get them available to you they'll not be in there but then every other level afterwards so when you're leveling up level for level you have to actually take them out uh, or it will count towards your spells chosen there is a way um, to get around that um, I will go into that in another video. But for now, um, it is actually a good idea to figure out which are your domain spells. So to do that, you would go to the I icon uh, above the chat and type in Cleric. Uh, right at the start, you choose your Cleric class and then scroll all the way down. Once again, I think if you have the SRD, I'm not sure if this is the one that it gives you. But it tells you here that Lesser Restoration, Spiritual Weapon, Beacon of Hope and Revivify will actually be given to you. So you know to avoid those ones. So you've got five more spells that you can choose. Um, 
you kind of got to like look at which spells would you go with. Would you take an extra first level spell, say Guiding Bolts, or say no, I want three second level spells. Um, it, it really depends because um, when you go level for level, at uh, second level you still only have first level spells, so you would probably take one in there. So say, even let's take Inflict Wounds, and then you would be able to take second level spells. So you would take probably a couple in here. You might also then go, well, I didn't really use Inflict Wounds, so... Gosh, uh, okay, that's not too bad. Um, so, let's see. Um, silence, prayer of healing. Um, and aid being three, and then you get to... The next level, you know you're getting Beacon of Hope and Revivify. So, let's say Aura of Vitality and do, 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 Spirit Guardians. Always good to take. So there we go, there's your extra five spells. And once again, you hit the review. It shows you in there. And you click Apply Changes. Now... If you go on to spells, you will notice that uh, Revivify, Beacon of Hope, Spiritual Weapon, and Lesser Restoration have actually been added on there. So that is that. And you don't need to worry about having to take them off each time but every time you level up from there you will actually have to do that so that is your cleric leveled all the way up to level five in one go now on the other hand we have inky mcmanus now inky mcmanus is a ranger and the rangers don't actually choose their sub uh the archetype or sub level until level three. So the other way that you can do it, if you um, are using milestones and you're not putting experience in there, you would click on the cog and scroll down, and you would see launch level plus character mancer. It's underneath the level one cannot be undone. That well, whatever level you take, if you click on this one, it will automatically reset you to level one. Whereas this one, you click on it and it will level you up another level. So you click levels. And here again, we've got Ranger. I'm just going to take the average for this to make it easy. It says class features fighting style, spell casting, focus. Subclasses chosen at level 3, your, your current level is 2. Okay, so you've got to wait a little bit. So your features at level 2 get a fighting style. I'm playing a ranger so most likely archery. Finally get spells at level uh, 2 as a ranger. Um, you would have to think what kind of ranger are you playing. This is a ranged ranger so hunter's mark is always good and just for myself I always like good berries because you know it's a great way to get someone up that is dead or down you would then click review and see it's gone up and everything is in there and once again click on the cog click launch level plus character mancer when you jump even if you jump levels from like um two through five a lot of people miss it miss and forget that on the actual level page is where your archetype will be. So if you're a barbarian, it will say which path you're taking. Uh, for a ranger, it would be here. Um, monks, I think, also don't get it at level one. Um, rogues. 
Uh, wizards are the second level, choosing your school. Paladins, your oath. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, I think druids are either second or third, third level. I would tell you, whichever level it is, it's always on the levels page. People miss this all the time because they're not paying attention. So what kind of range are you going to go? Um, there's the original Beastmaster, which really, in all honesty, sucks. From the PHP, that's... Um, it was really, really badly done. And the Hunter, I'm not really that big of a fan of it. Um, my absolute favourite class of Hunter uh, or Ranger is the Gloomstalker. It's one of the better ones. Uh, the Great Warden and Tasha's Cauldron of Everything's Beastmaster, which was improved upon, is much better than um, the original Beastmaster. And the Swarm Keeper's actually kind of fun too. So I'm actually going to pick the Gloomstalker, just because that's what I like to do. And then you'll see you've got your different um, features, um, spells. Uh, I actually get, like, get to learn one new spell. So let's see. Um, as a ranged ranger, um, maybe the uh, long strider would be pretty good. Just to give you that extra movement speed, even though you should. Well, you shouldn't actually need that. Um, probably then snare. You click review and apply changes. And then again, I'll actually do it the other way. You can also click there. Uh, your archetypes in your features. Uh, ability score increase. Um, generally level 4 playing a ranger I would take the sharpshoot defeat uh, spells uh, because my wisdom didn't go up at all I'm not able to learn any more spells I will go over that in another video and then finally at level 5 which is great for a Gloomstalker, you get your extra attack and your primal awareness. Uh, by level 5, I'm actually then able to take uh, second level spells and I get an extra spell that I can learn. Um, one of the finest ranger spells is Spike Growth, so I will take that. Review and apply changes. And there we go. And it is all set up, including all of my spells. And that basically is the two simple ways of leveling up. I will actually show a few other changes that you can do that I personally find easier. And I will show you how to change uh, your domain spells so that they don't get um, added on to your spell slots or the spells that you know later on. It's something that I've just recently discovered. So, uh, as I said, that is the easy way, the, the two ways that you can level up, uh, either doing it level by level or leveling up um, in a jump. Um, I'm not doing Kimmy Mass. I actually go back to Smokey Joe. Uh, actually clicking all the wrong things here so if I was actually to go back and I'm just doing this as a going back to level one just to show you the difference with him and clicking on launch level you will notice he actually wrote 8 there. The features, the channel divinity is in there. The spells. As you can see, you would take off bless and cure wounds. And it shows you that you can actually learn two more spells. 
So I would probably take, say, Healing Word, which I honestly thought I'd initially taken. And say Detect Magic. I'm just going to change. No, uh, I initially said Take Inflict Wounds. And there you go, there's your review. And apply changes. Um, it was seven. And no features, spells. Now you get to see that um, once again, bless and cure wounds are on there. Um, otherwise, it would say 706. Um, so you're kind of looking at it. Do I want four or do I want five uh, of the spells? And you also notice um, because you're level three, you should have got the other two spells the first time that it's on here. They are not on there. So I'll take the silence. But the next time you go on there, uh, to get to level four, I should put wisdom up twice. Uh, you're going to actually have to go um, with resistance. You're going to have to then again take off bless, take off cure wounds. But there you're also noting notice spiritual weapon and lesser restoration are on there. Those four spells were going to add it on there when you actually if you actually saw that beforehand. Bless, cure wounds, spirit and even there, trying to put them back on, it shows you you're at eight of eight spells, so you can't take them. So you have to take them off and realise you've got oh I've actually got two other spells I can take. Um I can't even remember which ones I put on here. Uh, I thought I put aid and prayer of healing. So those are the differences that you notice. Uh, and finally, on the last level up, uh, it was five. The features to try and dead, but I'll show you actually right here. It says 12 of 9 spells. See, that shouldn't actually happen. So, again, you have to take off Bless, Cures. I know it's a pain in the neck. But um, I will show you in another video uh, later exactly how you can change that. So, it was Spirit Guardians. And say, well, I don't exactly like the Inflict Wounds. I wasn't using it. And I changed it to Aura of Vitality. You can actually change one spell per level. And whatnot. Sorry, my girl is actually texting me. Um, and that's the way that you can do it. I will show you on the next video how you can actually avoid all that, impl all that happening. Uh... But until then, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will... Uh, I was going to say I will I'll talk to you next time. But uh, uh, I hope you're enjoying all the videos. Uh, give me a like. Give me any comments or whatnot. I will um, go over a few, few more things. I've got a few more videos that I can do. But until next time, um, have a good one.